Tuesday the 8th of January Tony Bullimore, the world, the around the world yachtsman survived after five days being trapped under his yacht and then his beacon being found by the Australian Air Force in 1997 Jeez Five days must have felt like five years and now I guess you the worst thing would be would be that um well he wouldn't know if he'd be rescued or not. Now he probably wouldn't want to drink water, let alone swimming or even paddling in it. I woke up chilled to the bone at seven oh five AM. Then Sophia spent ages and ages in the bathroom upstairs so I could contend with the sink and small mirror in the downstairs toilet. It took me forever to get my black, white and burgundy uniform on and then when we left it started to hail so it also felt like our body, bike and glasses and clothes had gone through a, a war zone. Then Marcus Thompson had decided it would be funny to look Grumpy Mr. McGill out of, out of the classroom. So then I had to contend with all these students shouting and swearing and chucking all their bags and equipment across the classroom until finally the teacher decided to convince Marcus to let him in. Worst day back at school ever! Wednesday the 9th of January Prime Minister William Pitt the Younger introduced income tax to raise funds for the Napoleonic Wars. Between 1799 and 1815 one man dominated Europe. Napoleon Bonaparte was a brilliant military leader who led the French armies over a string of victories over every major European power. Until in 1805 a British fleet led by Nelson had defeated a French, a French and Spanish fleet at the Battle of Trafalgar. <laughs> Hence, beating Napoleon. Good on Nelson! Got up at 6.54 today and Sophia had to contend with the downstairs toilet. From now on, I will do this every day. At school, seems things, things seem to have quietened down. Thursday, the 10th of January. <coughs> Samuel Morse made his first demonstration of his telegraph system in 1883. If I was living in the 1880s, as far as my elder sister is concerned, I wouldn't even bother sending a telegraph. My today's comments will soon reveal all. During PE, my indoor cricketing skills were absolutely dreadful. And when I was about to start running, I had the most massive sneeze ever. And, um, well, our toughest teacher we ever had, Mr. Downing, said, Great Clarence, now I'm going to be ill for my fifth anniversary party. Thanks, Claudia. We've upset the most, one of our best ever teachers. Go. She's the bossiest sister ever. And she only contacts us when she's upset, wants money, and wants a lift from the train or bus station. Friday the 11th of January Amelia Earhart was the first woman ever to cross the Pacific Ocean Amelia Earhart What a strong woman Ahead of her time Good on her I wonder what her next great adventure was I wasn't feeling too well today <coughs> So I phoned in sick to school Mum needed to go and collect some things from the supermarket, so I gave her a list which consisted of balm tissues, cough sweets, and lemsip. It wasn't too long before Topsy needed her morning walk, and so I let her, because I couldn't face taking her out, I let her into the back garden, and she found a little patch next to a mossy brown fence. And all our comfier trees need, uh, need cutting as well. So you know, they're cut. 
and all the junks collected the better. As soon as Topsy came back, Mum came back too. I thanked her and went to bed. Saturday the 12th of January Jean Lenoir, inventor of the first practical internal combustion engine, was born in 1822. Aha! <laughs> a man with a woman's name! I bet he took some stick in the playground. Wow! That was nearly 200 years ago. Feeling absolutely dead so I didn't go to my piano lesson. Mum gave me some money and she took it on my behalf. When she got back she told me that she wasn't feeling too great so she went to bed. I told Sophia that Mum was coming down with my cold hoping that would ward off her friends. But, no. What a racket! All afternoon they were playing so-called pop music. Boom, 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 boom. Because our garden was adjacent to Mr. Jones, who was built like a... Shit. A brick house came knocking on our door like, you know, like, like it was none of our business. With his long jet black hair and his piercings and tattoos galore. He complained that if we didn't turn the racket down, he would be forced to call the pigs. And then he started complaining about our tall trees and I was blocking his precious sunlight. So as soon as he left I marched straight into the front room where Claudia and her... Claudia? Where Sophia! Sorry. Where Sophia and her friends were and I, and I explained that if they weren't going to leave I would spread all my germs on them. They took the hint and they ran out of the house like it was on fire. <laughs> told this to Dad when he got home from work, and about Mr. Jones. What a very long and frustrating day! Sunday the 13th of January. Charles Dodgson died in 1898. He used the pen name Lewis Carroll when he wrote his famous books Alice in Wonderland and Alice Through the Looking Glass. Hang on. Ah! Ah! Oh, sorry. Uh, it's about the internal combustion engine. Eventually, after a lot of research, I found out it was the diesel locomotive. There's somebody who could afford to be in one, and I'm not talking about Alice. On miserable days like this, am I feeling rotten? I always dread it. Because after we have all our Sunday roasts, everybody, well, everybody else, goes to bed. This time I decided to join them. Mum has definitely caught Man and Claudia's heavy colds. God, I hope Sophia catches it next. Monday, January the 14th. Astronomer Edmund Halley died in 1742. He discovered a comet which was named after him. I remember hearing about that when I was a lot younger. 
I thought they were talking about a comic. Silly me! In exactly a month's time, it'll be Valentine's Day. Oh, I wonder. Will anybody ever fancy someone like me who's never had a girlfriend before? And it's not by a lack of trying. The answer is... Well... Well... Well, no. I don't think so. I felt a little bit better today, so I decided to go into school. Spent every spare minute I had copying up all my Friday's notes from all my older classes. And Sophia's been sneezing everywhere all day. Ha!